Right guys, in today's video we're going to be reviewing the new 85 rated Adrissa Gay. So as you guys can see, he's got 77 pace, 79 dribbling, 67 shot, 74 passing, 86 defending, 83 physical. Um, it's got medium high work rates, uh, only 2 star skills and 3 star weak foot. Uh, did play 3 games, didn't score with him, but what do you expect, he is only a CDM. So he's got some pretty average pace stats, 79 acceleration, 75 sprint speed. Uh, shooting pretty good, 89 shot power is good. Um, also 74 long shots isn't too bad. Obviously at the weekend he did score a pretty nice goal. Um, attacking positioning, 74. I mean, that's not really going to be used for CDM, but it's not too bad. Um, moving on to his passing, short passing, uh, 86, and long passing, 78. That's pretty good, pretty decent for a CDM. Um, dribbling, he's got some brilliant dribbling stats, so he can uh, dribble his way out of trouble, which is good. Like 81 ball control and 84 balance are the key stats there. Uh, 90 interceptions, perfect for a CDM. 90 tackling, 88 slide tackling. Um, he's got 90 stamina, 86 aggression, and 87 jumping, which are all brilliant stats for a CDM. But yeah, guys, let's get into the gameplay. Alright, guys, so moving on to the gameplay. So, we're just going to start off with the pros and cons. So, the first pro with this card is definitely his agility. This guy can get past any player. Because he's so agile, literally can just turn players very well and can go on runs from CDM. Um, obviously, guys, you've got to play this guy CDM. I, I wouldn't really recommend him uh, centre mid or cam. Definitely CDM because of how good his interceptions are. That's going to be his next pro, uh, tackling and interceptions. Um, so yeah, as well as agility, he can tackle all day long. Um, the amount of tackles this guy did was just brilliant. Um, so anyway, the next pro, what we're going to talk about is his passing. Um, he can pick a pass from anywhere. Literally, uh, he can spray long balls, uh, short passes, long passes, you name it. This guy is just brilliant at passing. Um, also, he's got high stamina, which is very good, so you don't need to worry about... Um, like him stopping like near the end of the game he can run all game um, it's very similar to Kante uh, this card definitely but I'm not sure if he's as good as Bakayoko which sounds really stupid he's about 80k on the market right now but the thing is Bakayoko is literally like 1 or 2k and Bakayoko does the job so it's up to you if you want to pay 100 or 80k rather for this card or you just want to go with a cheaper option like Bakayoko who would just do pretty much the same job it is up to you, but in my opinion, I do think Bakayoko is probably better um, or roughly about the same as this card. But I have to say, I do rate this card. Anyway, guys, cons is going to be his strength. I felt he was a bit weak, got shoved off the ball a bit. But apart from that, I think that's probably pretty much his only con, his strength. Um, maybe height as well, you could say. But that's going to be it because you don't really need two stars. You don't really need anything more than two star skills. Um, but yeah, that's the cons. Um, talked about the pros. And anyway, guys, if you're new, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.